good happy friday morning november 20 2020 i'm riley king and welcome to this friday morning edition of the morning show with riley king it's time to rise and shine get this friday off to a good start sit back relax grab that cup of coffee and enjoy this friday edition of the morning show with riley king where we have a little bit of everything for you in this program so let's begin this friday edition of the morning show with riley king right now i hope you all enjoy first step we're going to begin with the john hopkins university and medicine covid19 dashboard let's take a look at that right now And here is a look at that information for all of you right now. There are 57,011,978 global cases. U.S. cases 11,718,867. Global deaths 1,362,424. U.S. death, 252,564. And that is a look at your John Hopkins University in Medicine COVID-19 dashboard. Now let's get to the news. Pfizer and BioNTech to submit emergency authorization requests to FDA today. Pfizer and partner by and tech announced they will submit a request on Friday to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for emergency use authorization of their COVID-19 vaccine candidate. The submission, which is based on a vaccine effectiveness rate of 95% demonstrated in the phase 3 clinical study with no serious safety concerns to data will potentially enable use of the drug in high risk populations in the United States by middle to end of December. The companies have already initiated rolling submissions with several drug regulatory agencies around the world, including in Australia, Canada, Europe, Japan, and the United Kingdom, and plan to submit applications to others in the coming days. The companies said they will be ready to distribute the vaccine within hours after authorization. Based on Current projections, the company said they expect to produce globally up to 50 million doses in 2020 and up to 1.3 billion doses by the end of 2021. California imposes nighttime COVID-19 curfew, but some resist. California is imposing a nighttime curfew as its coronavirus figures soar, but it will learn, lean heavily on voluntary compliance in sheriffs of some counties say they won't enforce that. California is imposing a nighttime curfew as its coronavirus figures soar, but it will lean heavily on voluntary compliance and sheriffs of some counties say they won't enforce that. What officials are calling a limited stay-at-home order requires people who are not on essential errands to stay home from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. starting on Saturday. The order will last until December 21st, but could be extended if disease trends don't improve. Congress heads home for Thanksgiving without pandemic relief deal, but staff talks have begun about additional relief to 
a must-pass spending bill. Congress will head home for a week-long Thanksgiving holiday recess without passing any sort of compression coronavirus relief bill as the U.S. death toll passes 250,000 and a million of Americans remain on unemployment. But there is some hope that renewed talks could see some sort of coronavirus relief aid in the coming weeks, even within little time remaining on legislative calendar before the end of the year. Trump to meet with GOP Senate and state lawmakers in effort to override election law. The Michigan Board of Canvassers will meet Monday on certification. The result. Statewide audit result reaffirm Biden winner in Georgia. It's the first time since 19. 92 that a Democrat will win the state of Georgia. The result of Georgia's first ever risk limiting audit, which entailed continues recounting by hand every vote cast in the president race, reaffirmed that President elect Joe Biden is the victor in Georgia, according to the Secretary of State. U.S. government executes man convicted of killing Texas teen. The U.S. government has executed a man who kidnapped and raped a 16-year-old Texas girl before dousing her with gasoline and burying her alive. Dow features edge lower as fresh virus restrictions raise concerns about recovery. Stocks were slightly lower on Friday as raising new coronavirus cases cast doubt on swift economic recovery. And we're going to switch gears now. Let's take a look at your weather across the United States right now. And here's a look at that weather across the United States for all of you right now. In Boston, it'll be 41 degrees with clouds and a few little breaks of sun. In New York, 50 degrees with sun and a few clouds. Washington, D.C., 52 degrees with sun and a few clouds. In Atlanta, 61 degrees and sunny. Jacksonville, Florida, 67 degrees and rain. Tampa Bay, Florida, 76 degrees with clouds and a peak of sun. In Miami, Florida, 77 degrees with the wind. In Dallas, 77 degrees with sun and a few clouds. In Las Vegas, 72 degrees and sunny. In Phoenix, 86 degrees with sun and a few clouds. In Los Angeles, 71 degrees, sunny. And in San Francisco, 60 degrees with clouds and a peak of sun. And that is a look at the weather across the United States for today. Not bad for today. And switching gears now, let's go into GMA deals and steals for 20 or less from seven small businesses. Let's take a look at those deals right now. Time now for deals and steals. All twenty dollars or less, all from small businesses. You can get them by pointing your cell phone camera at that QR code that you see right there on your screen. Tori Johnson is joining us now. Let's get right to it. You're going to start off with some wonderful gifts that you can personalize. Tell us about them. 
Absolutely, Robin. So from collage, sometimes personalized photo presents are the most heartfelt, the most memorable. You can choose micro suede pillows, puzzles, or photo cards. Last year, these were one of our hottest deals. Viewers have asked for it to come back, and here it is, a great selection that you'll be able to choose, and it is all 12 to $20 and free shipping from collage. Free shipping. And tell us about these beauty products that we have here. So tiny. This is a great mother-daughter company called Mother's Shea. They are experts in shea butter. They work with their suppliers so that they can ensure quality that don't let that teeny tin fool you because <laughs> in that little thing, they call it nature's wonder balm, that shea butter. It is so luxurious and moisturizing our skin. There's rose Ooh. scent or vanilla scent. You'll get a trio. A trio is $10. Wow. Mm, I love this. This is coming home with me. Tell us what's so special about these bracelets. So this is a really sweet small company called Jilzera, and what's great about these is they're little handmade clay beads, and then there's a magnetic little box there, and inside that box holds a prayer or a wish. I like to think Aww. of it as a pretty personalized fortune cookie, that, but you get to wear it on your wrist and remind you of something that kind of just gives you strength all day yeah. as you wear it. It's a beautiful gift to give to somebody, including to yourself, especially today, because these are for $14. Mm. I'm telling you, you are three for three. I have this wide opener. It makes all the difference in the world, Tori. It's great. Okay, so I brought I brought a little guest to do a pop in here. <laughs> Emma's here to show you. Cork pop. You stick the needle straight yep. into the cork, you press down on that cartridge, and voila! In an instant, it removes the cork. There's no pulling, tugging, nothing's broken. You, you did a perfect job. We've been rehearsing all morning. You can imagine how many bottles of open wine we now hey. have in our apartment, and it's, you know, not even in 9 a.m. This is a really awesome gift to give, especially today. They are 12 to $15. You did it, baby. Mm. Perfect. And she is your baby. Okay, these socks have a pocket in them? Yes, so these were created by someone who was a pickpocket victim. He said never again. His passport and cash were stolen, so he created these socks called pocket socks. They've got a zipper there. You can stick a little cash or a credit card mm -hmm. or a key. They make a variety of options for kids and adults. We also have their brand new holiday designs. This is great whether you're going to school or just for a walk in the park. You know that you can stash your stuff safely and comfortably. Great patterns. These start at $8.50. And you know, Michael Strayon always has a strong sock game, so he's got his eye on Bam. Yes, yes. So uh, this, is, this is a real favorite with our viewers, isn't it? This next one. It is. So this is this is a really great company called Night. This is a brand new product from them to be able to treat your hair and your skin while you're sleeping. It is their luxurious satin pillowcase and matching eye mask. Comes in a beautiful set, three different colors to choose from. It's an easy gift. It is $20 and free shipping on this one. Oh my gosh, I love everything that we have here. And these tea towels got a little bit of a twist to them, don't they, Tori? These are amazing. Family-owned small business in Southern California. They make these tea towels. It's a weave construction, ultra-absorbent, which I love. Yes. But what is especially special is just a great, bold, beautiful pop of color in any kitchen. Bring a little cheer, especially today. They're slashed in half, $8, and a wonderful selection you'll find online. Thank you, Tori. We have partnered with all the brands on these deals, and you can get them on our website, goodmorningamerica.com. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our... Okay, and there you go. At the look at those deals and steals. Very cool indeed. Let's do some shopping now. And we're going to switch gears now. Let's go into entertainment news. In entertainment news, Rebel Wilson shares photo of tone abs, inspiring message and weight loss journey. Let's take a listen to that video from Entertainment Tonight. Wilson's fitness journey, I mean, is still going so strong. In fact, she revealed that because of her changing her diet and her fitness routine, she has dropped 40 pounds this year. And she recently revealed to fans on the Drew Barrymore show 
not only about her successful weight loss journey, but the fun way she kind of figured out how to bring on new challenges like this. Take a listen. For the last few years, I've been like theming my years. So I had like the year of fun. Last year, I had the year of love. And then this year, I'm like, it's going to be the year of health. Because I turned 40 um, this year in March, and I never really focused on my health, which was probably obvious. Um, I was going all around the world, jet setting everywhere, and eating a ton of sugar. That was kind of my vice. Like, I have a very sweet tooth, I love desserts. I think wow. calling out a specific year of your life as a themed goal, like a specific goal to achieve is really an interesting approach. Uh, what do you think of that, Mel? Is there a specific way you kind of set your intentions or goals in your life that works well for you? I'm actually going to take a cue from Rebel because I feel like once you yeah. say, okay, this year is going to be a theme, you don't get caught up on the little ups and downs that happen throughout the year, right? Because you said this is the year of health. So that means healthy relationships. That means healthy eating. That's health all around. And what I find is when I make goals, especially when they're specific, it's great to do that. But I find that so much more happens that year that I couldn't even have expected. So it's also great to leave space open for things that you couldn't have even imagined to happen. So that's why I'm, I'm with this theme, this theme idea. I love that. But something that I would take is just don't, I feel like less is more when it comes to goals at times. It's better to have focused, clear goals instead of 50 and, you know, you're all over the place trying to make them happen. Give, your space, give yourself the space and time to achieve those goals. You have a whole mm -hmm. year to do it. So just focus yes. on one thing. I'm taking a, a cue from Rebel 2. Uh, so maybe next year will be the year of health for me. <laughs> we'll have to yes. wait and find out. Okay, and there you go. Very cool indeed. Rebel Wilson, we all love her. Musum Gialuni begins prison time for college admission scandal. Let's take a listen to that video from Access Hollywood. Massimo Ginoli has reportedly begun his time behind bars. According to the Associated Press, the fashion designer reported to prison on November 19th to start his five-month sentence for his involvement in the college admissions scandal. A Bureau of Prison spokesperson told the AP that Ginoli is serving his time at a federal prison in Lompoc, California, more than 200 miles south of the Dublin, California facility where his wife, Lori Lachlan, is currently being held. In May, Ginoli and Lachlan both pleaded guilty to conspiracy charges connected to the college bribery scandal. The parents were accused of paying Rick Singer half a million dollars to falsely designate their daughters as recruits for the University of Southern California crew team, boosting their chances of admission. Lachlan pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud, while Ginoli pleaded guilty on that same charge, as well as one count of honest services wire and mail fraud. The Full House star was sentenced to two months behind bars in comparison to her husband's five. She got a head start on that time, starting her sentence late last month, and is expected to be released in late December. Ahead of his prison time, Ginoli was spotted with a shaved head and a full beard, a departure from his usual salt and pepper mane. People Magazine reports that the fresh look was a suggestion from his wife. A legal source close to Ginoli told the outlet, He's trying to simplify everything. Prison life is going to be hard enough for him. He might as well just take any hair worries out of the equation. Okay, and there you go. And now let's take a look at the celebrity birthdays for today and see which celebrities are celebrating a birthday today. And happy birthday to all of these celebrities. We hope they have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful day. Wow, Joe Biden, the president-elect, is 78. Happy birthday to Joe Biden. And happy birthday to all of these celebrities. We hope they have a wonderful birthday and a wonderful day. And thank you for joining us for this. Friday edition of the morning show with Riley King. Have a great rest of your Friday. See you back here tomorrow for another edition of the morning show with Riley King. Goodbye, everyone.